So good. I mean, really good. Hey, everyone! Come and see how good I look! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron, and for today's video, we're headed to the world of No Rest for the Wicked. Now, I've been saying over and over again that April is a super crowded month. We had a new PoE leak. I am currently grinding Season 22 of Dwarven Realms. We have the new season of Torchlight Infinite, which looks awesome, which is introducing multiplayer this coming Friday, their Mist Detective season. The game you are currently looking at, this is the drop on this Friday of No Rest for the Wicked. We have the new chapter of Death Must Die, and we had a scheduled playtest for Core Punk, but luckily that has been pushed back, even though May is honestly almost just as busy as April. Either way, super busy month. To this communication came out today, and a lot of people have been hitting me up seeing if I've seen it. No Rest for the Wicked launch trailer and details. Now the plan is we're going to continue to play Dwarven Realms, then half a day we are going to play Torchlight Infinite, and then half the day we're going to play No Rest for the Wicked. So that is the current plan since both of those games drop on the same day. This should be a fairly short video, but there's a lot of good info in here. No Rest for the Wicked launch trailer in details. Hello everyone, the launch of No Rest for the Wicked is only a few days away. Thank you for your support as we, as we approach early access, access release on April 18th at 9 a.m. PT. And I'm going to play the trailer for you, of course. Give me one second. But in here, there is some good info. Although this information is already out in the world, we'd like to share with you the game's launch plans. No Rest for the Wicked will be available at a special introductory price at $35.99. Now, I almost tore through the VOD to get the clip, but I thought it wouldn't be worth it. Just take my word for it. I was asked yesterday at how much do I think No Rest for the Wicked would be, and I said my guess, since it's early access and non AAA. I don't think it's going to carry that 60 and 70 dollar price tag. I think it's going to be 40 bucks. I think it's going to be 40 bucks. The game will be available at 39.99, 40 dollars. Hit the nail on the head after this two week period ends. So basically you are getting four dollars off if you grab it during the launch period of early access, which from what we see for the game is extremely reasonable. Now. This is going to make you excited. OK, ready for this? We'd also like to confirm that No Risk for the Wicked will not have any microtransactions and the game single player experience will require an will not. Sorry. And the game single player experience will not require an online connection or any any anti cheat software. We're dedicated to providing you all with a complete and seamless experience. Full offline. No microtransactions under 40 bucks. It's looking pretty good. Maybe we'll play No Rest for the Wicked for half the day at the beginning and then end with Torchlight Infinite. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. This trailer I'm going to show you right now. Everything you see is in game engine. There's no outside. I mean, this is, you know, this is a launch trailer. It's a cinematic, but no, everything is rendered with in game visuals. OK, in game engine. It looks incredible. Told you it was a short video. Enjoy. Peggy 18. So it's true. The king is dead. We find ourselves in a place we never sought. The threat of anarchy swells beneath us. Done begging for scraps. We take what we need. A plague that spent a thousand years confined to stories is now clawing at our gate. Everything it touches is a punishment upon those who have lost their faith. God's chosen descent. History 
will remember how we answer. No matter the cost.